Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500, E-mini futures daily chart. And it was, a you know, it, the day could be divided into, into two parts yesterday. Uh, the part where the bears went down and tested the lows, and then the part where the bulls completely ripped their faces off. So right now... Today is going to decide what part of yesterday was reality. Was it the bear's ability to push back down to lows and essentially sell any rally that, that was presented to the market? Or was yesterday the beginning of a larger move up uh, that will get over the green line there, the, the middle band, and extend back towards a test of the 2014 half highs or some kind of a lower high versus 2014 half. So far today, the the bears have let this go as far as they could let it go. They took it all the way up to the little area there between the red line, which is the 50-day exponential moving average, and the green line, which is the 20-day simple moving average of the middle Bollinger Band. That area was rejected, or the high today was 68, and we've now retraced Oh, about, we've chased anywhere from 14 to 15 handles from there. So we'll have to see um, what happens today in the regular session. What the bulls want to do is their usual. They want a morning dip that gets bought, and we've got the beginnings of a morning dip here. And then they want to take that morning dip, extend it above the middle band, and close above the middle band today. What the bears want to do is what they've been doing for the last, you know, two, three weeks. They want to continue to reject rallies. They need to keep the high, the current high up at 68. That needs to be the high of the day. It really does. Because if they lose it, it's going to extend, you know, beyond anything that they're going to be able to control. Um, the... Uh, and what the bears want to do then is keep rejecting highs and keep pushing things back down. Ideally, if they could close below the weekly pivot, which is at 52.10, that would be, um, you know, that would be something that the bears would want to do. Right now, what we're seeing is support at the weekly pivot. So um, it's going to be a very interesting day. I think it's going to be a very pivotal day for the market. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there and see what shakes out. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.